Hey guys, this is Mike from 60 Clicks. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the pesky desk diving marks and swirls from your stainless steel brushed bracelets. Now, as you can see here, I've got my SIN 556. It's looking a little bit beat up. I've got a lot of desk diving marks and swirls and scratches. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this look brand new again using really cheap over-the-counter tools. So the first thing we're going to need for this job is the Scotch-Brite heavy-duty scouring pads in the green variety. Uh, you can get these at your grocery store. You can order them on Amazon. Uh, they typically come in packs. I think this is the smallest pack you can get as a pack of three. Uh, you might even have some under your sink right now, so uh, take a look. Now the pads themselves right out of the box are going to be a little bit too large to use. So what we want to do is take a scissors and cut a small square out of the sponge. The size of the square should be roughly equal to the area of the um, surface we're working on. And for now we're going to do roughly a 2 by 2 inch square that will help us work on our bracelet. So we've got our sponge ready now. We can start working on the clasp. Now. The first thing we're going to do is start applying long, steady strokes with the grain of the watch. Now I've dampened this uh, sponge a little bit, but um, I've tried it both ways and I, I haven't noticed any benefit to doing it wet. Um, so every few strokes make sure you take a little break and take a look at what you're doing. If there are any polished surfaces on this watch, you need to make sure that you mask those off with tape. Uh, the SIN 556 is totally brushed, so we don't need to mask anything off. Um, you don't need to put a ton of pressure on this, so uh, just apply moderate pressure and keep going and check your work as you go. So that's all there is to it, really. Um, if you're having trouble holding on to it, you can try moving the watch in different positions, uh, different orientations that might help you uh, more effectively polish the edges of the bracelet or the, the harder reach spots. This should only take a few minutes, and when you're done, you should see some really amazing results. So here is our clasp after finishing the job. As you can see, it really looks like new again. Nice, perfect grain, and uh, all the scratches and swirls have disappeared. Uh, as you can see, this, this isn't exactly perfect, but for $3 and some change, it's pretty hard to beat. Um, this technique can also be used on your bracelets and other brushed components of the case. So go ahead and experiment on your cheaper watches and see if you like the results. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about tool watches in general, head over to 60clicks.com. See you there.